My American story uh, begins in Portugal in the late 1960s when my mom and dad, Antonio and Yolinda Simas, immigrated uh, as young kids. I remember uh, and I think about uh, what it meant for me to be the son of an immigrant, where you're not only remembering the culture that your parents brought, but fitting in to this American culture that's made up of so many different groups of people. Um, remembering uh, the lessons that my mom and my dad and my grandparents also taught me about citizenship, about giving to my community, and about my responsibility as an American being much more than rights, but being also about rights and responsibilities and paying it forward. So as we look forward, when you think about what's at stake for immigration reform, uh, it's a continuation of what we've always been, both a nation of laws and a nation of immigrants. There are really four things uh, that I think are key to immigration reform, and they build upon the idea, that American idea, that we're all in this together. And so what are those four things? First, everybody agrees that we've got a responsibility to make sure, as a nation of laws, that everybody's playing by the same rules. And what does that mean? It means that we continue to strengthen the border uh, so that there is some safety and security. The second thing that it requires is to make sure that all those businesses who are playing by the rules following and doing what they're supposed to be doing and hiring workers who are here documented um, don't have an unfair advantage, don't, are, aren't being taken advantage of by companies who are gaming the system and hiring folks who are undocumented. The third thing that we need to do is basically require that earned path to citizenship for the tens of millions of people who are here without the proper documentation. Because at the end of the day, what they want to do is the same thing that my folks wanted to do 43 years ago, which is to build a better life, not only for themselves, but for their kids. And in order to do that, we're gonna require certain things, that they get to the back of the line to the, uh, from the folks who have been in the line uh, legally, uh, that they learn English, that they pay fines, and that they work towards uh, in earning citizenship. And the final thing that's gonna be required is that as we think about immigration going forward, that it's both a, a matter of reunifying families that have been separated for so long, as well as making sure that there are enough skilled people who are coming into the United States to really benefit the economy and everyone who's living and working here. And so there's a lot at stake in this moment. And what we need to do is just to lean in, make sure that we're solving this problem once and for all, and doing it in a way that is consistent with what Democrats and independents and Republicans like, because this is consistent with who we are and who we've always been.